Uh, I'm Tia Galgalo, I'm the CSE for Tourism, Wildlife, Trade, Cooperative, Enterprise Development uh, and Industrialization. Um, I just want to give brief achievement that we've had for the last one year and I'll start with Tourism and Wildlife. Uh, when we came into office we had quite a number of uh, issues, challenges that were there before but um, starting with the documentation and um, documentation of tourist products and services uh, because without the documentation it's quite difficult for us to do marketing. Um, as at now we are finalizing on uh, documentation, imaging and um, putting together of tourist products and services. Uh, we've also done a rapid assessment in the National Reserve. Uh, before we did not have a database or information on exactly what was uh, ailing our National Reserve. So we got um, support from one of our partner, that is NRT, uh, to get for us an international Crab and desert at the Iwaso Nyeru River, which supports a diversity of wildlife. Shaba is part of three small adjoining national reserves that lie on either side of the northern Iwasongiro River. The reserve consists of a low-lying semi-arid plain. Still, Shaba's various sources of water provide relief for many animals, including gravy's zebra, the reticulated giraffe, and the Somalian ostrich. The scenic landscapes of permanent springs, Green River in forest set against thorny bush and down palms lining the river amidst the arid terrain are an attraction for safari goers as well as the wildlife. These reserves were established in 1948 as the Samburu Isiolo Game Reserve. Shaba was the setting for the book Born Free and for the film Out of Africa as well as for the reality show Survivor Africa. Covering an area of 606 square kilometers adjacent to northeast boundary of Meru Isiolo district is the Bisanadi National Reserve. It acts as a wildlife dispersal area for Meru National Park. The vegetation is mainly thorn bushland and thicket with combretum prevailing in the north and comifora in the south. The major attractions of Bisanadi National Reserve are wilderness habitat, game viewing, Adamson's Falls, fishing and boating on River Tana and Rojawero River. Many species of mammals including lions, elephants, cheetahs, rhinos, buffaloes, hippos and over 400 species of birds are also available. I think uh, one assurance that we are giving, and I think that has happened for the last eight months that we've been in office, is that um, the issue of insecurity in the, in the, in, around the National Reserve is a part things of the past. Uh, number two, we have already put in place a mechanism of security, uh, collaboration uh, meetings, and we already have a team that uh, cohesive that is doing uh, patrols in the, in, the, in, the, in the National Reserve and also around the National Reserve. Previously, it's only our rangers who used to do security operation, but now with the KWS, community scouts, our rangers, uh, and also the police, APs, tourist police, and also the ASTU, the, anti, yeah, the, the GSUs that are around the National Reserve. We've already had a um, collaboration meeting and uh, we do everything together so it's safer than before. 
again, I think we also, we've also put in place a um, radio call system that can report any incidences even before it happens. We've had a very uh, a comprehensive report on some of the attempted, for example, um, insecurity or people coming in into the National Reserve and we've uh, responded very fast and we've not even had incidents. So, uh, since year 2009, with, with the, the, the communication system in the National Reserve was had collapsed, and for the last three months, uh, we've been able to put back the security uh, communication system in the park. So that has also made it, um, very easy for us to be able to know any movement within and outside the National Reserve at, a, at, at a immediately and take response.